My daughter left the nest and returned an S rank adventurer episode 2 review in my opinions. Belle is farming when we open up in episode 2 and is visited by Sasha. Sasha is there to tell Belle her high status family is in debt to his family. Angeline saved Serene so her family is in debt to Angeline's family. Serene is Sasha's younger sister. Sasha tells Belle Angeline didn't want a reward and the reward should go to her father. Sasha gives Belle a lot of money as the reward. Belle doesn't want to use the money and will keep it safe until Angeline visits him. Sasha wants to duel Belle because he's the Red Org. He's a very powerful adventurer because that's what Angeline says and tells everyone. So they fight and have a duel. Sasha is a beginner and just wants to fight a powerful adventurer. Belle wins the fight. Belle was an E-rank adventurer when he lost his leg, or he's always been an E-rank adventurer and never was an S-rank, or he was and got more powerful with time and training, which Sasha is just super impressed by Belle and his possibility of maybe being an E-rank, losing a leg, and then becoming S-rank with a wooden leg. Um, I'm not really sure exactly, but I do know Sasha's version of Belle in her mind, the way Belle reacts and his expressions on his animated face. I don't think it's the true full story of what actually happened. Angeline has off of work for the day and just wants to visit Belle, but one day off is not enough to travel. She needs a few more days off to be able to travel. She spends time with her party members, and we learn Solomon created homunculi, which every time I hear the word homunculi, I always think of Full Metal Alchemist or Full Metal Alchemist Brotherhood, which everyone you've seen, uh, I just always think of them. So we got homunculi now. Whoop whoop! Angeline learns about that and she wants none of those rumors to be true. If they are true, she'll never get time to see her father. She'll never have a day off, so she wants none of it to be true. On her day off though, a monster is attacking and Angeline is asked to fight. Now we flip back again and we are in Belle's village and now there is a woman that tells Belle about Angeline. This woman was a merchant who was escorted by Angeline last episode, so they talk about Angeline. Helvictia visits the village and is there for Belle. Helvictia is there as a thank you for Angeline rescuing Serene. Helvictia offers Belle a job with her and her family. Belle says no because he is old and not as youthful nor powerful as he once was. Electivine doesn't care, and she tries to have her guards take Belle by force. He fights them all by the mental game of looking really strong because he's the red org, and it works. Electivine basically surrenders and is like, yeah, whoa, you're way too powerful, so let's get married instead. Serena arrives and tells Helectiva to stop with marriage and forcing Belle to work for them. Belle invites them all to the Autumn Festival since it will be dark soon and traveling at night is dangerous. Belle says as long as Lectivine is able to join them and is forgiven by her sister Serene, they can totally stay for the Autumn Festival. And they do. Now we're back to Angeline and they are done work for the day and they are off and they are just talking. Angeline decides that she's going to ask Belle to live with her and be an adventurer again because that's the only way he'll be able to leave his town and probably live in the city. But she's unsure if he will say yes or not because he kind of enjoys his little farming town life. The female merchant sees Angeline and tells her all about Belle and Helectiva and Serene and just the Autumn Festival. And this is how episode 2 ends with Angeline not being able to see her father, but she is able to talk to someone who did see her father and learns the recent current events of his life. And when episode 2 ends, they're all talking at this pub and then we do get a few seconds of a scene briefly shown of someone sinister, someone evil, which I'm not really sure what the scene's about, but I'm definitely going to say this is probably going to be the anime's villain right here. But that is episode two. There is definitely going to be a lot of back and forth between Belle and Angeline's like life and their views of everything because this anime is about both of them. It's about Angeline wanting to go visit her father because it's been so many years and she definitely has a father complex. And then we look at Belle's life where 
we're seeing how he's currently living, he also sometimes misses Angeline. But I do think that eventually their two paths will cross and Angeline as the adventurer is probably going to have to fight this like villain either in Belle's town or Belle's town's going to get wrecked. He's going to have to travel somewhere and while he's traveling, Angeline's on a job fighting the bad guys and they cross paths. I probably think by episode 11, definitely episode 12 though, because I do think it's going to be drawn out for them seeing each other. They will see each other though eventually, probably towards the end, as I said, as episode 11 or episode 12. But this anime, if you do not like a lot of back and forth of storylines, uh, this anime is probably not it. I mean, everything happens in the same time period, but it's all through two different points of views, Angeline's or Belle's. So we go back and forth a lot for that. If you are someone who can't keep up with that, then this anime is not going to be for you, even if you really enjoy the plot. Just you won't be able to keep up then or you're just going to be frustrated. But I'm so far liking this anime. I'm um, going to keep on watching it. I definitely, yeah, it's probably going to be a super long time before these two see each other. And that's probably where the climax of this whole entire anime will be the last final battle. That's probably where they're going to meet and see each other and be reunited again. Now subscribe to my channel, share this video, you can comment on your thoughts about this anime or if there's any animes maybe you want me to talk about or just what you think about everything.